I just wanted to talk about a quick thing here in this video. The two opposite spectrums of takes when it comes to Tyler Van Dyke in his last year at Miami. Probably the most good faith take is that Tyler's injury last year was more severe than we were originally led on. And it hampered him all season and also ruined his mental game. I don't know if you guys remember, but the Louisville game, uh, Tyler was coming back from an injury and they kind of opened up a little more about exactly what went on. Um, they talked about a rare, rare leg injury called a moral Lavalle lesion where the skin separates from the muscle and a fat layer. So this happened on his right leg from the knee down, which honestly, that sounds pretty fucking painful. Um, and they also went over that this injury is most commonly seen in high velocity traumas like car accidents, uh, causes extreme pain and swelling. Um, this sounds like it'd be a pretty hellacious hit on a football field. Um, if it's likened to this, usually we're being super charitable to Tyler, you know, I could definitely see an injury like this, just ruining your whole season and just missing with your mental game, like not being able to put power into the balls, uh, not being in the, being able to step into balls, uh, to lead receivers. And we, we did see that a lot there, especially during the second half of the season. Uh, I know the teams also switched up after Texas A&M and started dropping a lot of players into coverage and not rushing Tyler. Now if we look at Tyler's stats the whole season. Now the first game versus Miami, Ohio, this pick, I remember this is a really nice play by the DB. But it was also Tyler locking on to that side of the field and never looking away. He locks on to Jacoby here and just never looks. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how he still looks like he he's looking this direction the entire time, but still doesn't see the DB come up from underneath. I'm not certain if the defensive backs guy was set to block here or exactly what he saw or if the coverage is just called for him to do that and fake underneath and then go back up top. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to know, but I do know that Tyler definitely locks on this side of the field and he's looking there the entire time, but still throws right to this guy and under throws it. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe it was a sign of things to come. It, looking back at it, it was a pretty bad pick. Like uh, he locked on or he did everything wrong here. The next few games, you know, he's perfect. Texas A&M, such a good game, man. Uh, he's hitting on deep balls. He's hitting on everything underneath. The whole team is clicking in this game, honestly. So, great game. Temple did what we were supposed to do. No picks. And then his first really bad game here uh, against Georgia Tech. So, if you guys watched this game, this game was so frustrating. Not only because of Mario not kneeing at the end, but because the, the defense did everything they had to do to keep us in this game. There was a nice, there was a really nice pick by James late in the game that I thought sealed it for us. I remember sending out a troll tweet after James picked this and getting eaten alive after Mario didn't kneel. This is a really bad game by Tyler. The team should not have been in the hole that they were. It was a really a big reason as to why was because of Tyler, you know, that Mario was even in that position at the end. The defense played a stellar game. I think they held Georgia Tech to like 180 yards. And UNC, uh, this game was not a great game for the offense again. Tyler, two picks, and then... Uh, a UVA, another bad game, two picks. Uh, NC State was a really bad game. Uh, I think this is the biggest margin of loss all year for Miami, or one of them. Another frustrating thing is look at the margin in each loss, man. Like, seven, <laughs> seven points? Ten points? Oh my god. Yeah, the NC State game was the worst. But look at this. Seven points within Florida State. Seven points almost beat Louisville. And all these picks just, like, can't happen. Like, two picks, uh, excuse me, two games with three picks each. Yeah, a stretch of five games where you have at least two picks. That is the most honest good faith take that I've seen about Tyler. The other one and the most uh, on the opposite end of that spectrum and I kind of veering into conspiracy theory area is that Tyler was betting on the season and losing games on purpose for, you know, for money. Um, I, to, to, 
to say something like this without any proof is, I mean, it's kind of out there. Well, I mean, it's, fuck, it's definitely out there. Like, I wouldn't just say Tyler was throwing games. I mean, he definitely got injured. Uh, how severe was he injured and how much did it hamper him? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Uh, this sounds really bad, though. So uh, I'm going to, you know, be charitable to Tyler here and say that this was probably a really traumatic injury for him. Um, I don't know if you guys have had any bad injuries before, but th th they can be life changing. They can change your brain. They can change the way you think. I don't think that's too far fetched here uh, to say that that could have happened to Tyler. Uh, I think it's a huge reach to say that he was gambling on games. Uh, I don't know the guy, um, but without any proof, it's it's kind of nuts, honestly. Now, don't get me wrong. I do think it's hilarious, and I have joked about this before on Twitter, but I, do I think Tyler was betting on games and losing on purpose? No. I don't think he was doing that. Were there a lot of balls throughout the season that he threw? And I'm like, damn, that looks super intentional. Yeah, there's a few of those. I mean, there's a lot of those. Um, I even said during the season, like, it was a pain watching Tyler throw interceptions because it's never an exceptional play by the defensive guy. It was always kind of a gift from Tyler. Um, I don't know why that was. I know a few balls were definitely underthrown, like severely underthrown. Uh, if I have to pick between these two, you know, sides, I'm going to probably venture to say that the injury was a lot more traumatic than what we know. And I think it was pretty clear after that Georgia Tech game that, you know, something was going on. Y yeah, there was a huge blunder by Mario, but Tyler was just out of it after that. So... Yeah, what do you guys think? You think Tyler was actually injured all season and fully healthy now and possibly going to do big things at Wisconsin? Or do you think he was throwing games and earning that money along with that sweet, sweet orange bowl boys NIL money? What do you think?